you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me. Hello, is that Christian Prince? Yes. Right, I've just been watching your uh, YouTube show. All right, and we um, are live on air, my friend. People, they can hear you. What do you want to say? Of course. Um, I want to address these issues that you're talking about in the Quran. All right. And hopefully you can have a little debate. Sure, go ahead. Okay, if you're going to let me come off of this and go on to uh, YouTube. Can you speak louder, please? Your voice is gone. One second, sorry, I'm just getting some headphones in. No problem. You can hear me, correct? Okay. Yeah, I do. Can, uh, mute, please, uh, YouTube. Yeah, it's on pause anyway. All right. So I would like to, um, I had some of your followers um, asking me to come and debate you on your channel, so I thought I'll have come and have a look and see what's going on. All right. Do, um, do you like to introduce yourself reference... first? Do you like to introduce yourself? Oh, my name's, um, I'm a Go Live Media, um, Go off of YouTube. Go what? Go Live Media. Go Live Media. Go Live. Okay. Yeah, Go Live Media. All right. And um, I generally do some educational videos on Islam. Um, I've debated, debated a few individuals from Speaker's Corner on their panels. All right. Um, so the first verse that you actually bought, one of the verses that you just recently brought up mm. was that Satan intercepted the revelation right and made um muhammad hmm. give some incorrect verses correct um and the verse that you used hmm. um it more or less clearly states um allah actually speaks about this in the quran and he says satan intercepted it but okay. allah corrected it and cancelled out the verse correct. so i don't see the problem in this All what right. is your issue with this okay guys uh, uh uh what what i shall call you my friend do you have a name to call you with Farhad. For? Farhad? Farhad. 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 Yeah, Sounds yeah. like an Iranian name. Is that right? Yeah. All right. But I'm South Asian. So. All right. No problem. So uh, he agree that Shaitan, he put words and Allah, he cancelled it. Correct? Yeah. Okay. But you see the problem here that uh, supposedly Muhammad is a prophet of Allah and he is protected by Allah. You know, when the Quran said in different verse, وَمَا هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَى مَا هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَى Anything right. Muhammad, he say, it is nothing but an inspiration from Allah. That, okay. that is a very dangerous promise because you are saying that anything Muhammad, he say, it is from Allah. Chapter 53, verse number 4. Right? Right. Okay. And then we find that shaitan, he was able to put in the mouth of Muhammad. So now, which one is contradicting which one? If everything he say is from Allah, and then we find that Muhammad, no, he spoke what is not from Allah, and then Allah had after that to cancel it. That's mean that verse chapter 53, verse number four is a fabrication, it cannot be true. If, if, Allah, if Allah is God, my friend, hold on. If Allah is God, and I think you agree with me, if he say, okay, Christian Prince, I will teach you English, and you will never do a mistake. Do you agree that I will never do a mistake? Not necessarily, because the Prophet what? is still a human. We don't believe he's infallible. No, no, no. You see, this is not about a human now. This is about wahyun yuha, about inspiration, about speaking of God. This is not about you know him uh, uh, speaking to his wife. This is not about him uh, uh, making a, a mathematical error. No, this is about speaking of God. So when he say ma huwa illa wahyun yuha, he just say that anything he say is inspiration from God. So we are talking here about. The protection of inspiration that he say nothing but what Allah said to him so he well, being he being a human will not change anything because he just said to him don't Allah knew that Muhammad is a human he knew right so he's saying to him he's promising him that anything you say is from Allah okay and then we find that shaitan is written in his mouth satanic verses yes because uh, as Allah spoke about in the verse 
that Shaitan intercepted the message from Gabriel to Muhammad while he was receiving revelation. And if Allah is saying this is possible, then we believe this is possible. But then Allah is also saying that he cancelled the verse out. Where, where, where it says it's possible? I don't see the problem. Where it says it's possible? The verse itself. Hmm? The verse itself no. is for saying no. that... No, the verse possible. itself in the front of you, my friend, it says that all the inspiration is coming from Allah and it's not possible for anyone to fabricate. This is why if you go to the front verse in the Quran, it says that if Muhammad invented anything uh, uh, in, in our name, we are going to cut his oratory. You know that verse? Yes, I've heard okay. this, yeah. So Allah, he made a promise to the point that if there is any invention, the punishment, I will cut his artery. So there is the, the only way to do invention in the Quran is Muhammad trying to fabricate. But even if he tried to do that, I'm going to punish him and I'm going to kill him. Chapter 69, verse number 46. So there's okay. no way, there's no way any fabrication can come to the Quran because even if it's the prophet himself, I will cut his artery. And this is a promise from Allah. So here, Muhammad, he made it so clear, confirming again, that nobody can intervene and nobody can put inside the Quran. And if you go back to the same verse, the one you agree with it, it it's, it's make it clear that we have a Quran already, which is satanic verses. And let me explain to you, my friend. If you go to the verse again and read it carefully, when the Quran said that... Could you just give me the, give me the reference, please? Or just help me quickly bring it up. It, it's chapter 22, verse number 52. Okay. All right. If you go to that verse, and you say it with me and agreed that the Quran already, uh, uh, the Shaitan already put satanic verses in the mouth of Muhammad, correct? We did not but send, we did not send before you any messenger or prophet except that when he spoke or recited, hmm. Satan threw in it some misunderstanding. Okay. But Allah abolished which Satan throws in. Okay. Then Allah makes precise his verses, and Allah is knowing and wise. Okay. So Allah will abolish what? What shaitan he throw, correct? Yeah. Okay. So in order to abolish something, it have to be there. So now that means shaitan was successful to throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses. That's wonderful. Now, what is my guarantee that all this verse is from shaitan after this? Because shaitan, because let, let me let me explain to you. Because now let us say, I am, you know, people are listening to me. And now I say, okay, guys, uh, we should not worship uh, God, etc. We should be communist. And then you say to me, how you say, you, how you claim to be Christian? And then second day I say, oh, Shaitan, he made me say that, and Allah will abolish it, and he gave me this verse. Now, how? What is my guarantee that this verse itself is not made from Shaitan to make us relax and believe Muhammad is a prophet? Because as long Shaitan was able to put in the mouth of Muhammad once. What is going to stop Shaitan from doing it again and again, and even making a verse like this to make you believe that, don't worry, he is the right person still? Well, because Allah is the all-seeing, all-hearing as we believe, and if that was to happen, Allah would make sure it's abolished. My friend, Allah could not protect Muhammad from before it happened, so he would protect it after it happened? Well, obviously, we believe everything that happens, it only happens if Allah allows it. Thank you very much. So, so are you saying to me that Shaitan and Allah in agreement to put Quran, false Quran, in the mouth of Muhammad? Well, it's not the first time um, the Shaitan and Allah have been in agreement. The Shaitan made an agreement with Allah that Allah will grant him respite until Judgment Day, and he will attempt to lead as many uh, believers astray as he can. So... I'm not saying that Allah agree, he made this agreement with him, but there's an example of Allah making an agreement with Shaitan. No, no, you see, this is and different, my friend. This anything is the Shaitan does is under Allah's power. And this, it's only this because Allah but, allows but, him to but do Hold it. on, hold on. This is different. Because here is about inventing Quran when we showed you the Quran saying that nobody can invent the word of Allah. If Even Muhammad, if he try, Allah will cut his artery. So this is a big deal to Allah. And Allah, he promised to protect the Quran. So the protection is okay. after the corruption or before the corruption. So he's talking about the prophets deliberately altering the word of Correct. Allah. He okay. his so this is saying us, talking about Shaitan. No problem. But is the protection for the Quran is after the corruption or before the corruption? If I well, say to you, I'm going to protect you. Is that is that protection mean? I'll protect you after you've been killed or after before you've been killed? 
go talking about being killed is got is a bit excessive. This we're talking about Shaitan intercepting right. one of the verses and causing confusion. Okay. And Allah mm. is clearly saying that He has clicked onto it in the Quran and made it clear and He abolished it. Okay, my friend. Now, if this is a true, Allah will abolish the verses. Which, the verse, which verses, my friend? Verse, which which verse? Which the, verses Allah abolish? Here we go. We will go with you. Allah, He said He will abolish it. Abolish what? Regarding um, when Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam misquoted, um, well, he he recited a verse which including Lat Uzza and Manat. Okay. And the how we will know that this is the verse which is abolished? Well, we we take Allah's word for it, don't we? Yeah. But Allah, and, uh, but Allah never said. Allah never said which verses he took off. Shouldn't he say? Shouldn't he say this verse and this verse is this? They are not from me. Where is the confirmation? How we how he can abolish something? But he did not tell us what it is he will abolish so in that same verse he said look we did not send before you any messenger mm. or prophet except that which he spoke or inside satan threw into it mm. so he's not just saying this only happened to muhammad he's mm. saying that this has happened to previous mess messengers before name one name one so no name one i'm not Look, I can't provide evidences in regards to what So Allah this is a fabrication. Muhammad here is trying to cover himself, saying this is not only me who happened that to him. No, this is Allah saying it. See, this is what it is. I know. If you're not willing to believe mm. that the Quran is a revelation and you're going to keep saying mm. that Muhammad invented it, you yourself saying you know Arabic, yeah? Mm. You, you okay. should be able to read, read, tell. Uh, my friend, it's, it's read, read with me, read with me, read with me. The Quran says in the verse after it that shaitan he throw things in the heart of those who they have their heart they have a disease does that mean that Muhammad he have a disease in his heart which means he's a bad person are you talking about um, the, the following verse um, verse yeah. 53 right and we did, we did not send before you any mess okay, any, mess any messenger or prophet except that when he spoke or recited satan through into it some misunderstanding but allah abolished that which satan mm. throws in then allah makes precise his verses and allah knowing is wise the following verse that is so he may make with satan throws in a trial for those in whose hearts is a disease and those whose heart hard of heart and indeed the wrongdoers are extreme in dissension so obviously look from the whole verse you're trying to apply it to muhammad but you can clearly see towards the second half of the verse he's mm. talking about the wrongdoers and the ones that are in extreme dissension so it could be um, referring to the polytheists of, of mecca it could also be in regards to the christians and the jews no my friend look look it says here that he may he, he may make suggestion throw throwing in by shaitan but a trial for those who this is in general anyone who shaitan who shaitan who throw in their in their heart or in their in their mouth is the one who have you know disease in their heart so muhammad you have a disease in his heart let me show you something additional to this the quran confirm that shaitan he have no authority except over the bad ones do you agree with that um yeah but then at the same time he even tried to tempt jesus uh, so we, we will go we, we will go so to that one jesus has a disease in his we, heart we will go that no because shaitan you can go in the in the bible you will see shaitan was not able to tempt jesus he tried to do so the temptation there did he succeed no he he, he spoke to jesus can you do that can you do this and jesus get him busted now read with me the Quran. Even though from your my, my friend my book is so clear shaitan was not able to do anything with jesus we will go there chapter 7 verse 175 read with me carefully huh uh, uh, actually, let, 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 let me uh, let, let me know let us get to chapter 15 verse number 42 chapter 15 verse number 42 it says yep. for over my servant no authority shalt thou have no authority except such as put themselves in the wrong and follow thee what do you say what? What I have is, indeed, my servants, no authority will you have over them, except those who follow you of the deviators. Right. So, in order to have authority, you shaitan over my servants, you cannot, unless they themselves volunteer to be following thee. So, how Muhammad was under the authority of shaitan, controlling his mouth and his tongue, unless Muhammad is following thee. If Allah, he said, 
to shaitan period for over my servant no authority shalt you have except who except the bad one who follow thee so in order to shaitan to be able to do anything to your prophet your prophet should accept shaitan as god and to follow thee otherwise he have no authority over him and this is a promise made by allah for all the muslims so how about muhammad so see this is a question of authority um, my viewpoint is that the shaitan caused some confusion in the revelation and then muhammad recited recited it thinking it was a revelation but then allah cut it out because he protected Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from the deviations. We're not saying, you, you, it's not saying that um, Muhammad accepted Shaitan's word and then uh, re revealed the revelation. We're merely saying that he was confused by the Shaitan. My friend, everybody is reading with me, including you. The verse is so clear. You have no authority over my servant. When Allah, he say, you have no authority, it's clear you have no authority. What authority Shaitan can do? He can mislead you. He can misguide you. He can fool you. He can, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 inspire you. He can suggest to you, etc. Here, the verse is so clear. Allah saying to Shaitan, "You have no authority," which means you can do nothing to my servants unless they made a choice to follow thee. Now, Muhammad is the best of the servant of Allah. He's not a, not any servant. He is the special one. For Allah, to the point Allah, he wrote his name on the chair of Allah. He can't even think about a day without him. We, we don't believe this. That is a fabricated hadith. This is something the Sufis say. No, no problem. That, focus uh, with me. Focus with me. Focus, forget about the hadith. Forget about the hadith. Here, when when Allah he say that you are all of you Muslims, Shaitan have no authority over you, and he is speaking to the Shaitan directly. You have no authority. Don't even try. And no one of my servant will follow thee. Or you can have effect on him unless he is a person who decides to follow thee. And those, the word in Arabic, by the way, al gawin mean the criminals, the evil one. So exactly. Thank you very much. So who yeah, is who is the, the one who, who is shaitan he, can have effect on them? Who is, the normal humans. He's not talking about the Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What do you mean he's not talking? He's talking about all my servants. Where do you get this from? My servants, my ser is it is your prophet one of the servants of Allah or he is not? Verses, Allah, the verses are specific. Some verses are specific to uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and others are specific to Ayuhan Nas. Yeah. What Ayuhan Nas, my friend, my friend, my friend, my yeah? friend, my friend. There's no Ayuhan Nas. There's no Ayuhan Nas. My friend, don't, don't 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 fabricate. Don't fabricate things. The Arabic says, "Inna ibadi, inna ibadi, leisa laka alihim sultan." my followers my slaves my servant not one person not two person not a three percent all of them my slaves you have no authority over them except the bad ones who follow thee so in order to all right then so in this verse why did he not say cool say oh muhammad like what, what, many what other verses where he's telling muhammad to say my friend things. my friend my friend what are you talking about what are you talking about Allah speaking, Allah verses. speaking to Shaitan. Why, why Allah want to say, say to, say to Muhammad, say, what does this have to do with our topic? Allah speaking to Shaitan. Allah speaking to the Shaitan. Allah speaking, speaking not to Muhammad. My friend, my friend. Allah is not speaking to Muhammad. There's, there's tons of a chapter in the Quran. Allah did not say, say. Now, why, why you want to say, say? How come now you won't you, say? You clearly know. You know Arabic, yeah. My friend, my, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, don't don't change the topic. Why he need to say say? Why he need to say say? What say would do? Because when when he's saying say and he's speaking to Muhammad directly to to um, to proclaim to the people, there are verses like this. Then there are also verses that are just speaking to humanity directly then there are verses which ask muhammad to proclaim something so does this okay, let me let me tell you what muhammad are you saying let, let me let me explain to you what, what are you saying hold on, hold on. To <laughs> guys this guy he's saying that allah will protect the normal muslims but he will not protect muhammad allah saying that shaitan have no authority over normal muslim but he have authority over muhammad are you saying that okay 
let's keep, stick to that example. Are you saying that? You Are you about, really saying that? Are you saying that shaitan have authority over Muhammad, but he have no authority over the rest? Oh, I'm saying that this verse is regarding the regular people. <laughs> The normal like, people. No, no problem, no problem. But are you saying to me, trying to trying to fabricate the meaning, saying that Allah will protect the regular people, but He will not protect Muhammad? No, I am not saying that. Because we will, know Allah. Well, the verse is so clear. The verse saying clearly, okay. my friend, do you believe interpretation of the Quran? Of course I do. Yeah. Okay, which interpretation would you like me to read for you? Well, I want to draw. I want to get focus on this one example. So you can see that this way of looking my friend, at the give me, give me, because it looked like we will keep I arguing, you and you and saying. you will not, and you will not concede unless I show you the proof from your own book, my friend. Okay. Which which interpretation you like me to read for you from? Are you go, please let me say this example? When Satan tempted Adam to eat from the forbidden tree, do you class this as Satan having power over Adam? You're a Christian. Yes, you see, you see, yes, because he accept. The verse is confirming that actually nobody shaitan have no authority unless you decide to follow, follow thee so when when adam he decide to accept shaitan he is following shaitan he did what shaitan he want yes for us adam was a sinner man he is not a prophet of god as you muslims believe so now the verse is so clear thank you for confirming that so now there's no authority you cannot do make my 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 followers sin unless unless they are decide to be evil and follow you follow thee so here you're a prophet when he receives satanic verses, he, 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 he contradicts himself and he proved that he must be an evil following shaitan because shaitan cannot have an authority over him. He did not accept the authority of shaitan. He was merely confused for a moment. What, what confused That's me? What, what confused me? How you can be confused if, shaitan, if Allah says you cannot have authority over thee? Well, delving into divine matters. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Was Muhammad possessed by the devil before? Okay, we believe that even mm -hmm. there was magic done to the Prophet uh -huh. and the Jews even confused him where he did not know whether he slept with his wives or not. Correct. We find that acceptable. If, well, if, if it happened, it happened. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. Guys, he find that this is acceptable. Shaitan is controlling not only the mind of the Prophet, even his private part. Even his mind, even his eyes, so even his, his even his brain. Because, no, no, listen, 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 listen. What you just said, my friend. Just let me let me talk. I, I I heard you. Let us so we don't over over each other. I will give you time. So you just you are the one who mentioned this that the prophet was possessed by shaitan to the point that he cannot make differentiation between what is real and what is fake, and shaitan have him possessed to the point he control even his mindset to the point he do not know if he had sex or not. That's mean this the mind of Muhammad is totally under the control of shaitan. And you are the one who said to me that that verse saying, Oh my servant, you have no authority over him or of, over them unless the one who followed thee. So how shaitan was able to control Muhammad to the point Muhammad became totally under the control of Muhammad, the shaitan, and even he is controlling his personal life, his sexual life, his mind. Even there's different hadiths says the prophet, he imagined that he did things, but in fact, he never did any of those things. So even the, 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 even the normal day of Muhammad was controlled by the devil. And this is not one temporary thing look like this is a lifestyle Muhammad he have and he was possessed for a while and the control of shaitan and this is proven to us that Muhammad cannot be trustworthy because if shaitan okay. proven by your books that he was totally controlling Muhammad to the point even his sexual life was false sexual life then how we can trust Muhammad to be prophet your mind the effects of magic does not mean a total full control. I don't know if you um, investigated or researched how magic works in Islam, mm. but we believe that someone took some hairs from his home, mm. blew knots into it, mm. and uh, did some evil incantations and put it in the bottom of a well. Mm. So Allah still protected Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam because He sent Angel Jibrail to come mm. and inform him that magic was done on him and mm. where the magic was, and then they brought the magic out from the well and then they broke the magic. Mm. So once again, mm -hmm. Allah is still protecting his prophet. All right. So guys, listen carefully to this. Shaitan was able to control Muhammad. Quran says, you have no authority over my followers. Shaitan controlled the mind of Muhammad, the image of Muhammad, the eyes of Muhammad, the imagination of Muhammad, the act of Muhammad, the mouth of Muhammad, the tongue of Muhammad. And yet this guy is saying to us, Allah protect him. What is the protection? What is the protection? And, oh, you know, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, ima imagine I say to you, imagine I say to you, I am protecting you and then ISIS they came and they kidnap you 
and then they control you for a long time they control their your mind they control your tongue they control your your your, your private part they control your body and then i say to you oh i'm not going i'm save you now i told you i protect you you did not protect me they took me already they control me already they humiliated me already where is the protection after the shaitan controlling him for all this time well, we believe in the divine decree of God, and whatever happens to us is from us, and it will serve as a purification from us. What, what, so, what, what my, my friend, what purification? If the shaitan already has a, has a control of your prophet, and the Quran confirmed that you as, you know, uh, this is the best of mankind for, for, for Allah. Is, is Muhammad is the best mankind or not? Well, we've already proved that Satan can even influence the first of creation, Adam. My friend, is Adam better than Muhammad or Muhammad better, better, better than Adam? Muhammad is the seal of the Prophet. Thank you very much. So listen to this, guys. This guy, he is comparing the sinner Adam who disobey, disobey a God to Muhammad and say that when, when, when shaitan... He, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are the one who mentioned, you are the one who compare Adam to Muhammad regarding the sin. Listen to this carefully. He just said that Adam, he did that too. Shaitan was able to control him. So you're admitting that Muhammad was controlled by Shaitan. But this is the total contradiction for with the Quran saying that nobody will follow thee except those, except those who they are criminals, the evil one. You have no authority over my good servant. And that's why you know he's not talking about Muhammad. How he's you know? Talking about the no, he's mood. talking about everybody, not only about Muhammad, my friend. My, you know, do you know how to read or not? It says in the front of us that you have no authority over my followers except the one who followed thee. It's very clear. So you have no authority over my followers, all of them. So if Allah, he said that to everybody, what about Muhammad? He's not included. That would be funny. So when he said to him, when you say that Allah, he said to the shaitan, he's not even speaking to Muhammad, speaking to shaitan. You have it's no authority. You have you have no authority. You have, no authority. You, you have no authority. You have no authority except those who follow thee. And now, if we go in the in the hadith, we will find that the hadith confirm that Muhammad he was totally controlled. And not not only that. Look what Muhammad he said. Let me ask you a question, my friend. Do Muhammad receive command from Shaitan? No. What if I prove it to you? A reference, please. No problem. <clears throat> Read with me carefully, please. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Hadith. I want everybody to be my witness. Hadith number? Hadith number, Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 2814A. I will show it in the screen. There is none among you whom is not attached from among the, the, the devil, Shaitan, actually. They, the companion, said, Allah Messenger, with you? Thereupon he said, Yes, but Allah helped me against him, so I am saved from him, from his hand, and he does not command me, but for good. How Shaitan command him to do good? He clearly just said that Allah protects him. What kind of Shaitan. protection? What kind of protection if Shaitan is commanding me anyway? How is Shaitan and he's commanding me good? Sorry, I'm actually looking for the hadith at sunnah.com. Mm -hmm. I'm having a bit of difficulty finding it. Um, let me just look at the screen. So I'm trying to avoid feedback. Okay. There is none among you whom is not, not an attach from among <laughs> the jinn. The companion said, Allah's messenger, with you too. Thereupon he said, yes, but Allah helps me against him so i am safe for his hand and he does not command me but for the good mm. shaitan he command muhammad to do good that's no, amazing. no not shaitan not shaitan it says devil do you see, do you see the word devil do you know, do you know, do you know what a kareen is kareen the, the kareen is shaitan my friend no do you want okay listen, listen listen when you talk to christian prince you need, my friend my friend uh, you know you are talking to christian prince right yeah okay so i can prove always what i say don't challenge me don't challenge me. I'm warning you. I'm 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 not being rude. Okay. Do you want do you, do you want do you, do you want me to do you want to challenge me that this is shaitan? No, say yes, please. Say yes. Say yes. I will do it. Say yes. I will prove it to you. So this, my friend, you gotta be fair. You gotta so, let me talk. So my you friend, no, so either you say this is either you agree this is shaitan or you say I challenge you to prove that this is shaitan. This is not iblis. He's not talking about. Is iblis. that shaitan or not? No. No. 
here we go this hold on hold on hold on let me prove it to you let, let me prove it to you let me prove it to you my friend here we go this is Aisha your prophet is speaking to Aisha she said he said to her فقالت أما لك شيطان فقال بلى ولكن الله أعانني عليه فأسلم Do you see the word shaitan there? This is shaitan. There's shaitan, there's iblis, and then there's shaitan. My friend, shaitan and iblis. What shaitan and iblis? What are you talking about? Listen, listen. Is that sh is, is shaitan? If there is a, if there is a good shaitan, bad shaitan in Islam. If there is a good shaitan and bad shaitan in Islam, yes or no? No. So all of them they are bad. All of them they are shaitan. No. And what do you mean? Oh no. What do you mean? No. Shaitan is shaitan. Is shaitan no. is, is what do you mean no, no? You can't <laughs> and you can't make a distinction. You cannot make a distinction between the jinns that work for shaitan and the believing my jinn friend. It says the there the, it says there the word shaitan. It says there the word shaitan. Are you blind? I am showing you the word shaitan. It says shaitan. Guys, read read with me carefully. Read uh, what's wrong with you, my, my friend. My friend, hold on, hold on, hold hold your horses, hold your horses. You are confused, you are confused, huh? And you are you are in trouble and you don't know what to say. The word there is shaitan, and I show it to you. It is shaitan. Shaitan. Do you see it? Do you see the word shaitan? Do you see the word shaitan? Scroll back to the left. Do you see the word shaitan? What I'm trying to say to you yeah. is shaitan can be used as a plural for shayat, sorry, a singular for plural, which is shayatin. We believe that the jinns who work for shaitan, we class them as shayatin. My yeah. friend, I understand that you are a funny person trying to defend your prophet. What shaitan? What genie work for shaitan? What are you talking about? It says shaitan. Does not say the guy who works. It doesn't say the delivery. It doesn't say the pizza guy. It doesn't say the pizza guy. It says shaitan. It says shaitan. Does it? Does it? Does it say? Does it say the word shaitan? Yes or no? You don't even understand the concept. Does it say the word shaitan? Yes or no? Does it say the word shaitan? Yes or no? Shaitan in singular. Doesn't matter. Do, do he have to be one thousand shaitan? Shaitan. And by the way, how come you have a thousand shaitan or million shaitan? Do you know how 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 you Muslim believe in sh that shaitan have a children's? What kind of religion believe shaitan have a tr children? Do you know that you Muslim believe that a shaitan have sex with himself and Allah created for him a penis and a vagina, the penis in the right leg and the vagina in the left leg, and when he want to have sex with himself, he shake his legs. What kind of religion this religion is? You are trying to change the topic. Your prophet is under the command of shaitan, and you are the one who agree. Shaitan controlled the mind of Muhammad. Shaitan controlled the sexual part of Muhammad. Shaitan, Muhammad imagined himself doing things, but in fact, he never did. Shaitan, he gave him Quran. Shaitan made him bow to the idols. Shaitan, he, he do everything he want, and Muhammad is still protected for you. And now you are trying to me that the one Muhammad is under control is not shaitan when the hadith in front of us, even in the Muslim translation, is saying it's a shaitan? Stop being so triggered, right? Okay, um, so if you're gonna go by this comparison, then you have to say the same thing about Adam, the first creation of Allah. Yeah, my friend, don't you talk? We, we finished that one already. We finished, we agree that Adam he did obey shaitan by obeying his 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 uh, his desire. He what he, he commits sin, this is why he lost heaven. Don't go back. Muhammad, Muhammad yeah. himself, Muhammad himself here, you claim, you see, you call me for what reason? To speak about the verse about Muhammad receiving satanic verses. And now we prove that Muhammad have a full control. Shaitan, shaitan have a full control. Shaitan, my friend. About the fight in Al-Islam. What? So you haven't done as much research let, uh, let as me, you Let me ask, let me ask you. Let me ask, let me ask you. Let, let me ask you. Tell me what the Kareen is. What? A Kareen. What is a Kareen? Your prophet, he told you that everybody he have a Quran with him, which is a shaitan. He tried to whisper to him. Yes, every soul hmm. was created with him. Right. Yeah. So shaitan. All, so Muhammad, he have a shaitan with him. Muhammad, he have a shaitan uh, with him. Dude, the Quran that is with Muhammad, hmm. and it only commands it to good now. The shaitan with Muhammad. You say you mean shaitan with Muhammad? Thank you very much. So Muhammad, he have a shaitan with him. He, they call him Quran. Right. They call him Quran. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. So now you are saying to me. You are saying it's to me created. that your your prophet, your prophet, he have a shaitan who command him. This is what your prophet is saying. 
he command him to do good have you ever heard of shaitan he do command people to do good you remind me of a mutazila do you know a mutazila my friend don't change the topic don't change the topic when your prophet he said that the shaitan he command me good do muhammad receive command from allah or he receive command from the devil he receives commands from allah but here he says he command me to do good you see, you are conflicting a Kareen, a Jinni. My which friend, is a I just asked with... you, I just asked you, Muhammad received command from who? You said from Allah. But Muhammad said that he received command from the devil. I'm not conflicting. It's your prophet. It's your prophet saying, I receive command, good command from a guy. His name is the devil. You say to me, Muhammad received command only from Allah. But your prophet don't agree. Are you, are you, are you accusing me? Are you accusing your prophet to say something stupid here? What you're doing is you you you're being dishonest. <laughs> I am the one who's dishonest. You know. It's in the front of my eyes. You're a prophet uh, saying that the devil command me to do good. Is it me who said that or your prophet? A Kareen is a jinn. Yeah? It is a devil. This is your Muslim website. It's a the devil. It's a shaitan. Stop lying. You are playing semantics. Abdul, is that your website or my website? Who's Abdul? You aren't you Abdul? Guys, this is their website. This is their translation. This is their own words. This is their own. Uh, 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 the whole thing is they're made by them. And now he is saying to me, I am playing. You're a prophet saying, and read with me. Let me read for you. Maybe you are slow in reading, even though your English is better than mine. Look, there is none amongst you with whom is not attached among the jinn which hear the devil. The devil, this jinn is not a normal jinn because shaitan is a jinn anyway. The companion, the, the companion said, the companion said, Allah Messenger, Allah Messenger, shut up, shut up, hold on, come on. Allah Messenger, would you too? Thereupon he said, yes, like yes, yes. But Allah help me against him, so I am safe from his hand, and he does not command me, but for good. What is the good command devil he gave to Muhammad? Give me, give me an example. Right, so. Right. So the devil command the devil command Muhammad. Right. You agree now, finally. So now the devil command Muhammad. What is the command the devil he gives to your prophet? Where is an example of this? There is no example in Sirah that the devil gave a command to the well, prophet. I, okay, your, your prophet saying that you have to give me an example. On, does I, my friend, my friend, my friend. So you have no example, no problem. But I have an example. Isn't it the shaitan who gave him command? To do many things in the hadith where it says that he imagined things happened to him but in fact he did not this is the command of the devil isn't it the shaitan who made him imagine himself having sex with his wife but it was in fact it was the pillow isn't it a command of shaitan that he made him believe that he is doing things around the day but in fact he did not isn't it the shaitan who threw in his mouth quran but it was not the quran of allah it was the quran of the shaitan but muhammad he thought it is quran this is the command of the devil you still do not distinguish between jinn, devils, different types of my devils. Friend, my friend, my friend, stop fooling yourself. The Quran is a shaitan. He is a genie. He's a shaitan because the shaitan is a genie in Islam. Don't you know? So, no, 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 no. Every jinn is not a shaitan. No, no I'm not, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I am not saying every genie is a shaitan. I did not say that. According to Muslims, according to Muslims. The Quran, the Quran, the Quran, my friend, my friend, my friend, your prophet here is speaking about shaitan. I showed you the hadith. It says the word shaitan, shaitan, shaitan. How many times I need to repeat? You know, you, you see, you say, you, you claim, you claim, you claim that you know Arabic. You claim that you know Arabic, correct? I only know how to read Quranic Arabic. Okay, I don't speak you know Arabic. how, to, you know, you know how to read Arabic. What does that mean? Read with me. Read. This is the Quran of your prophet. You are saying the Quran is just a jinn. The Quran is a shaitan. فَإِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ يَجْرِي مِنْ أَحَدَكُمْ مَجْرَ الدَّمْ قُلْنَا وَمِنْكَ قَالْ وَمِنِّي وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ أَعَانَنِي عَلَيْهِ فَأَسْلَمْ So stop saying to me, this is a genie. This is a pure shaitan. 100% shaitan. Not a fake one. So stop lying and saying, oh, this is a genie. Please. This is a genie. No, this is not just a genie. This is a shaitan. And even even Muhammad he is saying that shaitan shaitan run in his blood vein. Do you see it? The shaitan run inside him, inside Muhammad, in his blood. Do you see it? 
Do not enter Quran Muhari, the woman whose husband are absent, for indeed, shaitan flows through the blood, through one of you as the blood flows. We said, and you, he said, he said, and me. Yes, he is Allah. safe. And this is the same, same story that Muhammad is safe from the command of shaitan, the shaitan, he command him to do good. Thank you so, very so much. Is, so why you, are, why you are saying to me, this is just a genie, when your prophet saying this is a shaitan? Use this hadith and the other hadith, and you've come to the conclusion that Muhammad gets commands from Iblis. I'm not the one who's getting command. I'm not the one who's saying getting conclusion. I'm saying your prophet saying that. Your prophet said I get commanded from Shaitan. As simple as that. He's talking about the Kareen. It, the the yeah. Kareen is a Shaitan. It's in front of you. The Kareen is a Shaitan. Does the word there Shaitan? Is the word there yeah. Shaitan in front of you? Okay, okay. this is the Kareen. This is no, the Kareen. He's a Shaitan. The Kareen is a Shaitan. Oh, so, 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 so. Is is the Kareen with your prophet here? He's talking about. Is this one specifically here? Is that a Shaitan? Yes or no? It's a jinn that's attached to everybody. You see, I'm losing my patience with you. Either you'll be honest, it says Shaitan in the front of your eyes. Stop lying. People are laughing at you. There's, there's, there's 1,000 people are watching. 1,000 people are dying from laughing that you are denying that the word there is shaitan. You keep saying it's a genie. The word in the front of us, this is your Muslim translation. It says shaitan, and you keep saying, no, it's genie. I say it's shaitan. You say it's genie. I say it's shaitan. You say it's a genie. Are you going to continue until tomorrow lying to yourself and fooling yourself and making yourself look like a joke in front of everybody? But well, this is just ad hominems. Um, th this doesn't really have an effect on me, to be honest. I'm saying that every soul comes with a kareen. Even the prophet had a kareen. And he's a shaitan. And he's a shaitan. And he is a shaitan. And does shaitan command the prophet? Explain to us how shaitan command the prophet to do good. Explain to us. We don't have any examples in a hadith to explain. We do not that. need so an I example. As long as your prophet, as long your prophet, he agree and you agree. That shaitan he command your prophet and he claimed that his command is good that means your prophet is a false prophet because shaitan never command good because he's evil is shaitan a pure evil or he's a pure good see once again you are conflating the kareen with iblis my friend what iblis what iblis what's wrong with you shaitan shaitan do you know what iblis mean who is iblis, iblis is the name of shaitan you see, you are forcing me. Guys, did, did you hear what he said? He said, Iblis is the name of Shaitan. Okay, you're a prophet saying Shaitan, so he is saying Iblis. If you are the one who says Shaitan is the name, Iblis is the name of Shaitan. And you're a prophet saying Shaitan command me. So what's your problem? Iblis command him. Did he say in, in this hadith that it was Iblis who commands him? He said Shaitan. Is it you who said to me, Iblis is the name of the Shaitan? He didn't say Iblis though, did he? My friend, isn't it you who just said a second ago that Iblis is the name okay. of Shaitan? Shaitan is, is the head Shaitan. There's only one original Okay, okay. Iblis. let me ask, let me ask you. I want to ask you a question. Now, you see, uh, we, 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 we prove our point and everybody's laughing. But let me ask you, as long as you mentioned Iblis, how Shaitan was able to have kids? By cohabiting with jinn. By, by what? By cohabiting with jinn. By mm -hmm. having intercourse with jinn. Who said the jinn can't have intercourse? Okay. What if I show you that this is not true? How will you do this? Let us go. According to your religion, Shaitan, he has sex with himself. And he have a penis in the right leg. And he have a vagina in the left leg. And he if himself by this and that. By shaking this with that. Let us go. And read together. Uh, and I will make you read with me. Let us see. I want to give you an authentic reference so you don't say I'm making things up, my friend. Screen a second. All right. Here we go. This is Tafsir al-Qurtubi, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. 
Let me show you the address in the top, my friend, so you don't say I'm making things up. Quran.ksu.edu SA Saudi Arabia. This is official government website. This is Tafsir al-Qurtubi. If you go down here, the question is, was about the Tafsir of al-Qurtubi regarding this chapter about uh, Shaitan, you have a children. Shaitan, you have a children. So Allah, he said, Are you going to take him and his children as you know, um, you know, uh, uh, your your gods, or you know, to worship them or to follow them. So the Quran, why the Quran says, "Malaika isjudu li Adam fasjudu illa iblisa wa kana min al-jinn fasqa." Chapter eighteen, verse number fifty. So now, if we go and read the interpretation of Al-Qurtubi, we will find the following. He said, and I'm showing you in the screen, my friend. قال مجاهد إن إبليس أدخل فرجه في فرج نفسه. That Iblis he did if himself he enter enter his vagina his his which means his penis in his vagina, and which means he did if himself, and then he lay eggs five five eggs, and this is the origin of his seeds which means his children, and then he continue, saying, and it said that Allah. He created for him in the right thigh of his leg a penis and in the left thigh a vagina. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So he do nikah, which means he do F himself, this by that. So he like he shake his legs and he F himself. And then and then he laid he lay down every day ten eggs. And from every egg, and from every egg, there is 70 shaitan and shaitan, which means male shaitan and female shaitan. They come out and they come right away and they fly. So this is what you are talking about. Iblis is the father of all shaitan, but all of them, they are shaitan anyway. And you're a prophet when he says shaitan, he's still speaking about shaitan for all shaitan is evil and he is the devil and anyway. And this is where the fiction of Islam yeah, coming that shaitan, shaitan that there's many shaitan in Islam. You believe there's many shaitan. There's everybody have a shaitan. And how shaitan have have have, have a, how we have shaitan? Shaitan Allah it's created for convenient. him. Iblis, Iblis. Do you really you believe? Do you, do you really believe? Do you really believe? You do you really believe? Do you really believe? Subservient to Allah. Do you really, my friend, my friend, who will go to the paradise. Muslim jinn? This is funny. Let me ask you: Do you really believe Shaitan? He have a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg. Do you agree? I have to be honest. Yeah. I have never read this tafsir, mm. so I can't comment on its authenticity. Mm. I can't comment of where the information has come from, whether it's come from a hadith or mm. whether it's come from the Quran. But the Quran said that Shaitan he have a children's. What you would do with that? Isn't the short the Quran saying that? The Quran says that the Shaitan has children. Then I can accept that the Shaitan has children. Okay, how Shaitan have a children? Did Allah create Shaitan with him? You see, when God he kicked Adam Adam from heaven, he kicked him with Eve. When Allah he kicked Shaitan, he kicked only one Shaitan out of heaven. Okay. So where Shaitan he was able to get his wife? He went to that dating website. Well, you just spoke about. With, with regards to the tafsir of how he may procreate, hmm. he can also procreate with other jinn. Yeah, but he is having sex with himself. Your God, your God, Allah saying, Shaitan is a transgender. He have a penis and vagina at the same time. Even transgender don't have that. Do you really believe this in this fiction? This is from a tafsir. And, and this is from a tafsir. Yes. Bring a verse to say that Shaitan has sex with himself. Will you need to explain you to can't. me? Isn't it the Quran says you that can't. Allah? Isn't it Allah? Isn't it Allah who said to Shaitan and to Adam and Eve, three person only? Was, was my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Allah He kicked out from heaven three person only, three person: Eve, Adam, and Iblis. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Possibly. Okay. I'm not don't tell me possibly. I can show it from the Quran. So how Iblis is the only one from his kind is out of heaven, and yet he's having sex. Down in earth with who? 
with other jinns. Are you telling me you're not aware of the world? But of this jinn? is mean. But this is mean. Allah, He kicked all the jinn out of heaven. And that would be no, a revelation for the Quran because the Quran, the Quran says, the Quran says that Allah He kicked only the Quran. Like my friend, the Quran. All jinns are iblis and the children of my iblis. friend. The Quran. The Quran says Allah He kicked only one one person. He is from the jinn. Do you agree or not? Allah kicked iblis out of the heavens. Yes. Correct. So now, how the jinn came to the earth? Allah created jinn before he created mankind from no problem. This is not a question. It's not a question Allah created jinn and mankind all in heaven This is why Allah he said to shaitan get down because he was there So now Allah he kicked, he kicked out from heaven only one genie which is Iblis that is shaitan He kicked only one and then he kicked two person which is Eve and Adam Okay, we understand Adam and Eve they can have sex together and they have children and we are the children of Adam That's wonderful now shaitan. He was the only one from his kind out of heaven which means when he came down to earth, there is not a single person he is like from his kind. Only him is the only genie was kicked out of him from heaven. So how shaitan was able to have children? By cohabiting with other jinn. But there is Allah no jinn in earth. There is no jinn. He was the only jinn was kicked out from heaven, my friend. You are conflating all of these issues, yeah? My friend, I'm asking you. Seven. I ask you. I am the one who asks you. Did Allah kicked only one genie from heaven? You said yes. The genie was where was in heaven. So jinn well, are in heaven, not in earth. So now how we have how we have how we have genie here in earth? How we how we have genie in earth? How we have the genie in earth? Least was the first ever jinn created. Well, first of all, we don't believe in genie for me as a Christian. Secondly, as long your God Allah look like you are going against your God your God is the one who said he kicked only one genie from heaven did your God say I kicked only one shaitan only one genie yes do you agree my, my, my friend my friend let us make it simple let us make it simple I'm going to make a drawing for you please focus with me I will draw in the screen something for you all right have patient please And forgive me my drawing is not really perfect but just to explain to you my idea maybe you are not getting me right okay we have this is the heaven of allah in the sky this is adam this is eve and i want to make the shaitan in red this is shaitan allah he order three people only to go down to earth and this is the earth the three people are Adam let me type their names Adam oh, I'm typing in, in, in our English Adam and Eve and Satan three all right so in the earth there was only two human and one shaitan now my question for you there is nowhere in the Quran it says that Allah he sent down genies the Quran confirmed Allah he sent only one shaitan just one because he was angry from him he was not angry from all the jinn. He was angry. He was angry. My friend, my friend, hold on. He was angry from only one jinn. Do you agree? He was angry with Shaitan. All right. He is one of the jinn. He was angry of one of the jinn. He was one of the jinn, correct? Okay. Yeah. He was angry from one person only. His name is Shaitan, correct? You claim to be smart, yeah? But you're telling me that there's all, in the Muslim belief, we only believe in one jinn. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying when Allah He sent down to earth, there was only one genie. His name is Iblis. This means that other genie did not exist. No, they are exist in heaven. According to the Quran, they are in the heaven. Remember what the Quran says? My friend, my friend, you see, look like you do not know what are you talking about. Do you want me to show you? Do you want me to show you that the jinns in Islam they are exist in heaven? Yes or no? Do you want to see that? And yeah. Huh? But the Quran tells us. That black magic was here very long time ago. No, the my friend. No, my friend. That that is a lie. You do not know the Quran. Obviously, you are ignorant in the Quran. Show me where it says in the Quran that the black magic was exist before Adam was exist before genie came to the earth. Where do you get this from? 
the Quran confirmed the opposite. Obviously, you do not know your religion and you are a false okay. Muslim. Let me show you. Let me let me let me get you busted as I do to all Muslims always. How many times you get busted until now? Look at this with this. The, he said that the, the, the black magic was exist long before. Read with me this. Right. Harut wa Marut. You never heard of Harut? I just told you about Harut and Marut in Surah Al-Baqarah. Okay, Harut and Marut, they were exist before Adam? No, they were not. They were exist before what? Shaitan? They were exist, you know, they were exist before Shaitan? You are playing semantics. They were exist before Shaitan, yes or no? Was Harut exist before Shaitan? Yeah. You said the black magic was exist before Shaitan. You said that, right? No, I've just told you black magic does exist. Long what? You said long before what? Black ma black magic existed from a long time ago. What what, proved... what what do you mean long time ago? When 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 is that? When is that? Let me talk. Yeah. What long time ago mean? No, don't tell me long time ago. I want to know long time ago before who? Before Muhammad? Before Adam? After Adam? What do you mean long time ago? Definitely after Adam and definitely before Muhammad. Yeah. Okay, that's you wonderful. Would... Okay, that's that's wonderful. So now, so now, what is the point? Is a black magic is a black magic something satanic or it is at it is something good? Is it satanic or, or or good? It's obvious the game that you're playing. Yeah, my friend. What I'm trying, my friend. Listen. No, don't take care. We have enough fun. You got busted, and you have no idea what are you talking about. Take care. I gave you more than an hour to lay down your case. I show you shaitan, you say to me genie. I show you shaitan, you say to me genie. I show you shaitan, you say to me genie. Spend 20 minutes talking about a word in front of us in the screen. You are a kid. I never heard this before. I, I, I don't care if you heard this before or not. Because you are a fake Muslim. You are because you claim that you have a knowledge, but you never heard that shaitan have a penis and he have sex with himself. That's not my fault. Every time I speak to a Muslim, guys, each time, every day, you witness. A Muslim, he called me, he says, I never heard this before. I never heard this before. I don't know what happened, but I cut off. For like My friend, are you, going, are you going to answer or not? Answer what? Okay. Your prophet was controlled by shaitan or he was controlled by genie? He was controlled by his kareen. His kareen is shaitan or he is a genie? If it is a shaitan, it is not the same shaitan as Ibn. I don't care if he's a shaitan or his cousin. Is it shaitan or not? Every soul, every I don't man, care. Give me an answer. Say, say to me, be, a, be a man, be a man. I don't care. Kareem. My friend, yeah. is he a shaitan or not? Is he? You say, I don't, 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 listen, listen, I, I'm losing my patient. I'm losing my patient. Is he shaitan or not? If you want to classify a kareen as a shaitan, as in a uh, shaitan in the singular of the plural of shayateen that work for shaitan yeah it is not iblis it is someone who whispers to every soul to do bad as part take care take care singular singular if you own a singular what's singular is he shaitan or not you're a prophet say the word shaitan you don't want to say it are you trying to be smart ass and your prophet? Are you saying Muhammad was not a smart ass, but you are the smart ass? Hello? Why do you keep cutting me off? You are a kid. I, I want an answer. I want an answer. Either you say to me, either it's a shaitan or not. The hadith in the front of our eyes. Is he a shaitan or not? You play semantics. Is he shaitan or not? I play whatever I want and everybody is laughing at you. The, wor well, the word, in the, the word in the front of us, and you don't dare to say the truth because you are ashamed. Obviously, you are trying to avoid that your prophet is commanded by the devil. He is a satanic man. Is the word there Satan? Is it Satan? Do you see the word Satan, or do you see something else? And today, you have exposed yourself. My, yeah? my friend, I challenge you. I challenge you. Let me, let me, let me do this. Let me. I challenge for you. Give me, give me your YouTube. I want you to copy my video. And post it in your YouTube if really you are the one who was victorious in this debate. Is that correct, guys? If this guy is honest that he made a victory, I challenge you. I challenge you. I challenge you. Listen, I challenge you to download the video and to post it on YouTube. No problem. Okay. No, no, no. No, no. Promise me. Swear by Allah. Swear by give me your channel. Give me your channel. Post your channel in the in the chat because we want to see it there. Go live media speakers corner. Live media speaker corner, guys. Check it out. The guy, he will post the debate there. Every, all the Muslims will go crazy when they see this. So now let us go back to zero. 
Is the word there shaitan or it's a genie? Is the word there yep. shaitan? Is it the shaitan in front of us? Is that shaitan? Is your prophet saying shaitan? Is your prophet saying shaitan? But, 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 is your prophet saying shaitan? He's using the word shaitan. Okay, why he's using the word shaitan if it's not a shaitan? Secondly, the word shaitan is in brackets. Yeah? No, it's not in bracket. No, it's not in bracket. Read it, read it. It's not in a bracket in front of you. This hadith is a different hadith. It is shaitan. Do you see it? There's no bracket. Yeah, but this is talking about shaitan flowing in the veins of man. Yeah, and he have and it's flowing in the in his vein too. And he and he said, I am safe from him. I am you know, actually do you know what it says in Arabic? Oh hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you know what it says in Arabic? In Arabic is even more horrible. It says that shaitan became a Muslim. Shaitan was of the Muslims first. No, my friend, no, no, this shaitan he converted to Islam. Read with me carefully. The shaitan, he converted to Islam. Do you see it? How shaitan became a Muslim? Where is this? I'm not seeing it. It's in the front of you on the screen. It says, do not upon al-Muhibar, al the woman whose husband are absent. For indeed, shaitan flows through one of you as the blood flows. Who said? And do you see it? It says that he became a Muslim. Do you see it? It would be on the screen. I don't it is, see it is on the screen. screen. Guys, is it in the screen? Do you see the screen, people? Is the screen showing? Everybody can see it. Everybody can see it. No, in the translation, it doesn't say that. In translation, it says, I am safe. It doesn't say that in Arabic. In Arabic, it says, They are lying well, in translation. This could be a mistake. No, no, in, in Arabic, in Arabic, in Arabic, this is Arabic, my friend, this is Arabic. You can, you can. Let me, let me show you the reference for the, for, for, the, for the hadith. So you can go and you can, you can copy the hadith, even if you don't speak Arabic. You can copy it and you can post it in Google at Turmudi. Hadith number one 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 seven two, one one seven two, and this is the hadith in the front of us. فإن الشيطان يجري من أحدكم مجرى الدم قلنا ومنك قال ومني ولكن الله أعانني عليه فأسلم. Shaitan converted to Islam. Could I have the hadith number again? I will give it to you. Yeah, one one seven two at Tirmidhi. One one seven two. So you see, it's not even, not only shaitan, he command him, he, com he have a command of shaitan who is a Muslim. Shaitan is a Muslim in Islam. You believe it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I agree with you. This is, this is really crazy. Guy, did he, did he just say no? Did he just say no? Did you hear him? Shaitan <laughs> became a kafir when he disobeyed Allah. So how your prophet saying shaitan became a Muslim? Read, read with me, read with me, read with me. My friend, read with me. I don't know. I don't know if you are illiterate or not. Do you see that Sahih? It says Sahih. Do you see it says Sahih? Sahih. Do you see it? Sahih. Sunan an Nisa'i. Hadith number 3960. Read carefully with me, please. I looked for the Messenger of Allah and I put my hand on his hair. Who is talking Aisha? She want to play with Muhammad. He said, your shaitan has come to you. I said, don't you have a shaitan? He said, yes, yes. But Allah, he helped me uh, with him and he became a Muslim. Do you see it? And this is a Sahih Hadith. And this is the Hadith in Arabic next to it. Well, it's obviously a mistake in that Hadith, isn't it? My friend, it my friend, my friend, my friend, it's Sahih. It's a Sahih. It's a Sahih. Why you call it Sahih then? Why you call it Sahih? Why you, why you call it Sahih yeah. if it is a mistake? Why you call it Sahih if it's a mistake? Today, that you cannot distinguish that jinns were created before mankind. You think only one jinn was around, which was Iblis. You then use a hadith and two hadith, one that said that shaitan flows in the blood of mankind. Yeah. Then you've used another hadith when Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was referring to the Kareem. He probably called it a shaitan purely because this Kareem is with every human being and it commands them to do bad. But the Prophet's one, Allah subdued it 
Yes? And it only commands him to do good. This is not Iblis. This is not Satan. This is part of the makeup of the creation. Yeah? <laughs> guys, so, guys, is, is, did, you, did you eat something today? So why are your prophet saying this is shaitan? Why do he call him shaitan if he's not shaitan? Do you think Muhammad he, here, he lost his mind? Are you saying your prophet, he lost his mind? Are you saying your prophet, he lost his mind? This is not shaitan, but he called him shaitan. It's a genie that commands to bad is a shayateen. Okay, so why why he's, why he's calling him yeah. shaitan if he is not a shaitan? My friend, my friend, what's wrong with you? You see, I don't, I don't have time for kids, Abdul. Listen, listen, Abdul, Abdul. Why you're a prophet? Why you're a prophet call him shaitan if he is not a shaitan? Why you're a prophet call him shaitan? Just man, just let your dad call me. Let your dad call me. And I challenge you to put the, the video in your channel. I want everybody to laugh at you. Your prophet is commanded by the devil. And he claimed that his devil is a Muslim. The Quran confirmed, the hadith confirmed, the stories confirmed that Muhammad is possessed by the devil. Muhammad, his sexual life was controlled by the devil. His action controlled by the devil. And in order to, to, to explain to us why he do stupid things, he said he claimed that it is the devil controlling him. But by doing such a claim, he exposed himself to bigger problem. He can't be from God. The Quran says, you have no authority over my servant except the one who followed thee. So how shaitan was having authority over Muhammad controlling him? Controlling him physically, mentally, spiritually. To the point, Muhammad, he bowed down to the three daughters of Allah. To the point, Muhammad, he cannot recognize his sexual life is true or fake. To the point, Muhammad, he do things, but in fact, he did not. How many fabricated things during the time Muhammad was controlled by the devil, he did, and Muhammad and Muslims, they follow. Because remember, Muslims, they follow blindly whatever Muhammad, he do. And as long as Muhammad now is under the control of the devil, how many things Muslim they call it Sunnah, Muhammad he practiced at that time while he was controlled by the devil? What kind of a prophet this prophet is? And the funny, I showed them the reference. You say to me, you claim that Allah He sent only one shaitan out of heaven. I don't claim it's your Quran saying that. This is why you funny. I don't want to call you idiot because somebody will eat it. Will it will will it be upset from me? This is why your scholar tried to find out how shaitan have a children's. Did you ask yourself why the Muslims in the tafsir trying to find out how shaitan have a children's? Because Allah, He kicked only one shaitan from heaven. This is how stupid you are. I'm not the one who's claiming. Why you did not ask yourself? Why in the tafsir, your scholar saying that Allah, look what, look here, guys, what it says. فقال الشابي سألني رجل فقال هل إبليس زوجة الشابي, you know, a scholar, is, you know, a, a man asking. Do don't don't call me, don't call me. I'm done with you. I, I have no time for kids. Let your dad call me. He, he said, do Iblis have a wife? Iblis, which means the father of shaitan in Islam. I said, this is a this is a wedding party I did not attend. <laughs> then I mentioned to him that Allah said, are you going to take him and his progeny, his children as uh, uh, protectors and partners? So I know that he have a children. Must be from a wife. So I said, yes. Then he continues saying, and Mujahid, he said, that Iblis, he enter his uh, uh, private part into his uh, private part. And then he laid down five eggs. And this is the origin of his offspring. Makes sense. Shaitan is ifing himself, and then he lay eggs as a chicken. And it said that Allah, he created for him in the right thigh a penis, must be big. And in the left one, a vagina, must be big too. And he, if he do nukah, you see the Muslim, they say to us that nikah mean marriage. They, they lie to us, they say nikah mean marriage, right? Look what the word here. You see the word? Yankah. Don't call me, my friend. Don't call me. Just post the video on your website. You made victory already. Enjoy the victory you have. Oh, this guy.
<laughs> Don't call me. That's it. We are done. Unbelievable. Don't force me to block you. You, you. I know you get humiliated and you do not know what to do. Don't force me to block you, honestly. That's it. At least let me explain the, the, the point I'm saying now. I will let you call me later. Breathe, breathe. Make some tea. So, فَهُوَ يَنْكَحُ هَذَا بِذَاكَ بِهَذَا So he, if he do nukah to this, by that, which means he if his uh, uh, penis by his vagina. And then uh, he, he, will, he will lay down 10 eggs. فَيَخْرُجُ لَهُ كُلَّ يَوْمَ عَشْرَ بَيْضَاتٍ And then, and, and from every egg he lay down, or, or from every egg will come out 70 shaitan and shaitan. A shaitan in, English, in Arabic means male, male uh, shaitan, Satan. And shaitana is a female Satan. So now we have male Satan and female Satan. This is how the Muslim explain how Allah, he speak about Allah have children. So this guy is saying to me, you are claiming that you uh, are saying that Allah, when he kicked uh, shaitan, he was, there is no a genie, other genie in earth. Yes, I am not a claiming. It's you who's a claiming. This is your religion. Shaitan in order to have offspring, he did not sleep with other genie. He f himself. I am not the one who is claiming. And not only that, if we go in the hadith, even Muhammad he confirmed that Shaitan he lay eggs. Let us go and see. Do you see it? The Prophet said, don't be, uh, uh, do not, if you can help, be the first to enter the market. And the last to leave it, because in the arena of Satan, you see, you see here, you see the translation, it's false. Uh, because it doesn't say what it's saying. It says Satan, he leave eggs. You see in Arabic? In Arabic, is totally different from the English. Oh, this guy. I will give you last chance. What do you want to say to me, my friend? Um, it's why, why did you cut me off? Why, because why you because you are away? wasting my time. I, I ask you, I ask you, is it a shaitan or not shaitan? You don't want to say. Let us go back to zero. Is the one which Muhammad received command from, is he shaitan or not? He is a Kareem. Is he shaitan or not? He is a Kareem. I just saw you pull up. Then shut up and get lost. Don't call me again. I will, I will block you. You are a liar and you have no dignity. It's in the front of us. And Shaitan is a Kareem. I have no time for kids. You see, I have patience for anyone as much as they needed. But the second you start ins like insisting of a lie, which is obvious it's a lie, it's an insult to me to have you in the stage. Am I being right, guys? If it's in the front of us, it says Shaitan. What do you mean? You keep saying it's a Kareen, it's a Kareen, it's a Kareen, it's a Kareen. He know two Arabic words and he keep repeating them. Kareen means companion. So, who is the companion? Is a Shaitan. I ask him, what is, uh, what is, who is the one? Uh, 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 who is Shaitan? He said Shaitan is the name. Iblis is the name of the Shaitan. So it's a Shaitan. Can we find for one time, one time a Muslim is smart? Yes, we can. Today we found a Muslim when we start the program who left Islam. Do you remember? Glory to the Lord. And now you can imagine how many Muslims will leave Islam because of you. How much you helped me to expose this cult. You think, you thought you are going to debate me? I cannot debate myself. I will lose. I always debate myself. I lose. I, like, this is why I took the mirror of my house. I have no mirror for two reasons. I get scared when I see it and I don't want to debate myself. You Muslims are truly funny. You are desperately trying to protect a man nobody can protect. Obviously, he's evil. Shaitan command me. Shaitan convert to Islam. Have you ever heard of a religion? They believe Shaitan became a Muslim? Even Shaitan? They expose the lies of Muhammad and learn how to be tough on this cult 
and tough mean to be bold, to say it as it is, not as they want, not politically correct. Being politically, politically correct is an illness, is a weakness. If somebody is hiding something, even forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims, but it doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are being rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure.